girl, you're trying to be like me. Whatever, you always trying to be like me. No, you always trying to be like me. Psst. Whatever, man. I'm out. So? Psst. Hello, and welcome to another tutorial from Avid Studio Pro. Today we're doing a tutorial on how to clone. So let's jump right into it. First thing you need to know is when you do a cloning effect, you're going to need to use a tripod when you take your shot. You need everything to be absolutely still so a tripod is mandatory. Second thing, record both of your shots back to back without stopping the camcorder. This way you get the best chance of keeping the light, the lighting the same on both shots. So just do your shot. Press record, do your first shot, do your second shot, then stop it. Make sure you put a little pause in between the two shots. Just don't press anything on the camcorder. So once you get that done, you have your clip. You have one clip. You want to take that clip. You want to bring it down into the timeline. So you want to make sure that you get your clip to a presentable spot for you to start your tutorial. So I'm going to start off right here. And I'm going to split my clip here. I'm going to get rid of the front end because I don't need that. Next thing you want to do is get to a position where you're right in the middle of your clip. So before your second person comes into the shot. And you want to split your clip there. Next, you want to get to a position where your subject is going to sit down and start. You want to split your clip here. And you want to get rid of this part. Next thing you want to do is take one of the clips doesn't matter which one and bring it down underneath the other clip now what you'll see right now is that the top clip will only be visible you won't see the bottom clip so you need to do some work to make it where you can see both clips so you want to make sure you want to use a jump to the next uh, position to get it right to the beginning of the clip you want to right click on the clip and choose open effects editor Now the effect that you want to use on here is the crop effect. So you go to 2D, 3D under the effects tab and go to crop. You want to apply that. Make sure that there's no keyframe on here. Now you want to click on the crop drop down and you'll see that there's a black kind of letter box around. The way you get rid of that is you go to each one of the positions and change it to zero. Hit enter. Zero, enter. Zero, enter, and zero, enter. That'll take all of the letterbox away. Next thing you want to do is you want to position your crop right in the middle of the screen. Try to choose a location where you know it's right in the middle. So what I'm going to do is move it over to a position where I think the middle is. And I'm going to keep track of this position because it's 51.638. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my calculator because you know it's 100% is right in the middle. So I'm going to bring up my calculator and I'm going to do 100 minus 51.638. That leaves me 48.362. Okay, so I'm going to remember that because I'm going to need that for my next clip. So I'm set here. I got it right in the middle where I need it. So I click OK. Next thing I'm going to do is go down and left click on the clip on the bottom, right click, go to open effects editor again. I'm going to make sure it's on effects. I'm going to go to 2D, 3D again, and go to crop. I'll leave the last one because I know I'm going to make some adjustments to that. So I'll just zero out the rest of these. And then I'm going to go up to left. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to put 
the number that I had in the calculator, which is 48.362. I'm going to hit enter. And now if I click on the toggle between timeline and solo mode, right now I'm in solo mode. If I click on this, I should see both of the shots and you see it's perfect right down the middle where I want it. So I'm going to click OK. And now when everything resets, you'll be able to see both of your subjects in the video at the same time. Now you'll notice as you go through that there's a little bit of lighting change. Sometimes like you see a little bit darkness on the left hand side. So what you can do to help with that is a few things. Uh, one of the things that's pretty easy to do is if you go to effects editor, well first thing you wanna do is you wanna position it right where the difference is. And you can go to effects editor if you wish to do so. I would split the clip to make sure that you have uh, just the part that the lighting difference is in. If you go to corrections, you can go to enhance, and you can change the brightness. If it was darker, you want to make it brighter. Then you can click on the toggle mode to see if they match or not. But you have to click on effects and then click on toggle. Now you'll notice that I made it a little bit too bright. So I'll go back to effects. Go back to enhance. I'll take my brightness down a little bit. Then I go back to effects. Toggle so that I can see both. And now you see that the brightness is about the same. So if you see any part of your clip where the, the brightness isn't right, and you can see a little bit of a line there because of one side being darker than the other, you can split your clip in the place where you need to make the adjustments and go to the effects editor, go to corrections, enhance, and then change the brightness to make it correct. So there you have it. How to clone yourself in Avid Studio. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.